Tonight, the legal team of Johnny Mims, the uh, minor high school band director who is detained by Birmingham police with a stun gun following a football game is addressing the media. Mims spoke at a news conference earlier today. He says his band was simply doing what they're trained to do and that's play a musical selection at the end of the game in what's called the fifth quarter. He says it hurts the incident escalated the way it did. I know my students very well. I know the, uh, the community that, that I work for. Um, I can just feel emotions. Uh, just again, seeing the parents here supporting me. Uh, it is very emotional. Mims attorney said that she wants those charges dropped and for Mims to return to work. Along with that, given along with members of the Alabama Education Association gave statements saying they stand behind Mr. Mims and they are seeking damages for the pain and suffering Mims received and are asking the school system to let Mims return to work. Along with the conference, Mims has been speaking to the press about his side of the incident. In fact, DeMar Morgan has the details. This morning, shocking body camera footage showing a high school band director being arrested and tased, now at the center of a police investigation. Go, go. Birmingham police say this all happened after Johnny Mims refused their orders to cut minor high school's band performance and leave the stadium after a football game last week. <laughs> The band kept playing after the final whistle during what is referred to as the fifth quarter, a tradition shared by many high school and HBCU marching bands across the South. Mims directed the band to continue playing. Shortly after, the lights of the stadium are turned off. But it's what happens next that has Mims outraged. Band members screaming in disbelief as an officer pulls out a stun gun during his arrest. And to hear those kids cry, that's the most heart-wrecking thing that anybody can ever experience. Mims tased at least three times. I didn't deserve to be tased. I'm a good citizen. The 13-year band veteran sharing his story with ABC News. Was there ever a point that you feared for your safety, feared for your life? The feeling of being tased for the first time, you've, I've seen it before, but for you to actually feel it for yourself and the amount of power going in, I could feel my fingers like numbing up. They tased me again and then tased me for the third time. So imagine if I had a heart defect issue or imagine if I, I panic on top of that. It could have been fatal. Mims is charged with disorderly conduct, resisting arrest, and harassment. His attorney says his civil rights were violated. It was unwarranted. I don't care how it started. It never should have ended up like this. This should have been a matter in which it de-escalated. Birmingham police telling ABC News the incident is now under investigation by its internal affairs division. My biggest prayer is that, first of all, that these students will not hold a grudge, um, that they would be able to overcome this, that they would uh, one day be able to move forward and continue to be the, the great people that they are. 